welcome to this short video on educational video production. In a previous video, we saw a quotation from one of our academic sources relating to a student comment on open video productions. The comment said, when asked, some of the young people preferred open productions to closed ones. That is, if the message was too unambiguous and did not leave enough space for self-made descriptions of meaning, these young people often expressed disapproval. Now, the literature here gives a description of what open and closed video are, but other authors have also written about this work. Pinnington, for example, says that closed videos are suitable for training objectives that are factual and unequivocal, and where the goal is to instruct the learners to learn a fixed body of knowledge in a very short time period. Now, in contrast to this, Pinnington goes on to describe open video as video that encourages the students to learn about the issues through sharing and listening to each other and by working on demanding tasks. Now, here we have two styles of video production that seem to lean towards different educational objectives. Closed, that leads towards direct instructional approaches, and open, that leads towards discussion and interpretation. Now the literature also says that educational video may not be entirely opened or may not be entirely closed, but in fact may be a combination of these two things. The balance may depend on the educational objectives that we're trying to achieve. To illustrate this, we have two examples. The first was designed for instructional purposes with a target audience of learners who were radio pharmacists. The second of these you may have seen reference to in other videos in this series and was designed to stimulate debate between academics and between students on the use of e-learning in their institutions. As you're watching these videos, see if you can identify any characteristics that relate to their openness or relate to their closed and think how you may apply these to your own video productions. To begin, swab the top of a saline eluent vial with a disinfectant swab. Now do the same with an evacuated elution vial. Remove the outer and inner caps from an elution vial shield and insert the swabbed elution vial. Disinfect the inner cap by pulling a swab through the hole with forceps and firmly screw the top onto the shield. 